Hello, every siren, and welcome back to Equestria at War Crimes. Today we're going to be mind controlling the entire world while keeping them just conscious enough to be aware of the evil things we make them do. Yes, actual. Well, maybe not the twist. So welcome back to Zebrica, the continent that only released because they are scared of my overhaul mod. You're welcome. And today, such an evil crime, of course, requires a convoluted secret path to unlock it. First things first, we research Sea Pony Marines because they're cute. I'm probably never going to use these, but we will research them anyways. Second, we form the Anti-Harmonic Activities Committee. For those of you who haven't watched the last Zebrica video, they're the DHS. One of the decisions we unlock by doing this is patrolling the deepest depths because there is a rather unharmonious trench that needs to get 1984 would by our new government agency. Also, those sea ponies we just invented are scared of it and we get 5% stability for for barely any cost. And as you all know, exploring deep dark trenches is always a good idea and nothing bad ever lurks in the depths. Luckily, all of the sea ponies died during the mission and we lose all the stability we gain. Great, but even better, now the consequences of my actions really show themselves as cults start forming around the underwater area that you can't see on the map. It's implied it has something to do with a monster in the trench, but it also just might be the government agency trying to throw more people into prison. Anyways, we have no idea what these societies even want, and it's not yet illegal to be a weirdo, so they're fine, I guess. They can keep meeting with their cloaks. I don't know. Do ponies even wear cloaks? And well, it was fine, until everybody started trying to kill each other for having different music tastes, just like real life. And this doesn't exactly have anything to do with the cults which don't have exactly anything to do with the trench, but as the events explain, it's strongly implied that there is some correlation between the two issues, especially since the event specifically mentions the other issues. Now the game tries to convince us to ask every pony across the sea for help, but asking them for help is cringe, so we pretend there isn't a problem and actively start helping the cult take over the home island instead of doing anything productive, like throwing more people in prison. Doing all the decisions to help them is rather cheap, and I don't really have much better to do with our PP right now, so we might as well go ahead. We even helped our cultist friends take over the capital itself, and then things really became interesting. And by interesting, I mean a civil war started, one where we were disadvantaged by like five to 10 divisions. Luckily I've played this game for 3,000 hours. I won the war, but not fast enough for the broken secret path mechanics to screw me over and make me do the whole thing again because my game power meter was decreasing too fast. So then everybody woke up and I couldn't force them to do evil things anymore. So I, I did the whole civil war thing again. <laughs> Very fun. Also, did I mention we're sirens now and we're hot? Maybe. I, I don't know. I'm not attracted to war criminals. Anyways, welcome to The Magic is Right, my favorite sitcom about losing to negative numbers. You know, where's that inflation when you- I lost to this mechanic 10 times and half of those times is due to something that I did before I even knew the mechanic existed. But the other half <laughs> was because you have to go through the focus tree in a very specific way or you die. You have to go right before one focus, then left, then the middle maybe? Uh, I haven't actually got that far yet. It's also interesting and music themed. A cool idea. And don't forget about the mind control, of course. So we have three leaders, three sirens. We can switch between them for 50 political power, though out of the three, one is clearly the best. Adagio, because she gives plus one to the negative number problem. And the negative number problem is is really a problem. If you don't know exactly what to do, it's impossible. Unless you're smart or something. The other two leaders I'm sure have a purpose, but their traits are not amazing, not very impressive. Though they do unlock specific branches of the focus tree depending on which one is active, so they're not completely useless, I guess. And thus commences problem number one. Our magic mind control song didn't quite work on everyone, so the factions that previously existed still do exist to some extent. The every pony is the communists and crack and every pony land is doing its best to make our problems even worse because of some hot drama between us and them. I don't know, I didn't watch this show. So we get a terrible national spirit fairly early on and if we hit zero, bad things happen and we have to restart. Therefore, it's very important that we have Adagio as the leader to get her plus one magic buff. But to counter the terrible national spirit, we have 
to do foci that are only unlocked by the left side of our focus tree. These decisions allow us to severely weaken our army and industry to gain magic. And, and I mean severely, it's pretty bad, like plus 10, plus 5% consumer goods, minus 10% construction. But to do the left side, we need Arya as the leader. So we have to switch to her, unlock those decisions, then throw her away for Adagio, the superior one, and then we can manage things when the national spirit and resistance stuff starts. But once that's all sorted out, we get to deal with the remaining free willers. Uh, we take control of some of them, divide the factions, we destroy hope and life. We even make children cry, kind of. Don't, yeah, don't, don't read the events. <laughs> to deal with the Harmonists, we take control of their princess and make everybody freak out, terrorizing them all. Uh, I guess that's what they get for being horses. Or I think the princess is a bird. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, we're giving them a prize. Above all else, a beautiful song that they can listen to forever and ever. No more killing each other over different music tastes. Even though we were the ones who, you know, started that. Problem solved at least, world peace achieved soon. But as we were doing all these things, before we even got finished with the things, I should add Cheer Up Terra declared on us, and this was not good, it was very bad. They outnumbered us five to one when the war started, and they were convoy raiding us to death. And as an island nation, that is not convenient. We had a better navy though, and I went out of my way to research navy techs, but they're stupid submarines were a nightmare. They destroyed our supply and even took some of our smaller islands just because we couldn't supply the divisions on them. We had to hide on the mainland and wait for better technology to be researched to save the situation. And this was a long wait too. It wasn't like a year. It was like three years or something. Also, since our armies are filled with mind-controlled sea ponies and hippogriffs, I feel like our organization should be incredibly high, but we sort of want a disorganization in the army to satisfy their magic negative number gods. So it took a very long time to build up our army for an invasion, destroy all the stupid submarines, and then take back the islands they stole from us. At least we got a lot of experience, like a lot, and our military at the end outmatched every other country probably besides the one we were at war with. At least on the right side, we're dealing with them first, and they're kind of getting weakened by tactical bombers and stuff. And then it was time, time for a naval invasion. I had to research the advanced naval invasion tech that allows us to invade with more than just 10 divisions and then land along their coast to create a sustainable front that stretched along the entire side. And then I realized that I could battle plan pushing forwards and circling tons of divisions and finally defeating another nation so its inhabitants can finally be blessed with the sound of our melody. Uh, very cute. And now with this war done, we were able to reinvade part of the continent that broke away when the civil war started all that time ago. This easy war technically should have been our first war, but getting declared on complicated the situation. Nonetheless, we may still be progressing a bit slow, but we've maxed out the primary branches of our doctrines, and I'm pretty confident in our abilities here. Though uh, this is but half the song. There's a lot left to the focus tree, and I will continue next time. Bye. <laughs>